Ajá. Yo. Hey, this is Cross. Welcome back, everybody, to a new Minecraft Let's Build. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you give this video a like. And if you do so, spank you. Very, very, very much. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in the previous let's build, we did a house just over here, which is a modern bond conversion. And some of you did build it and you did tweet me some pictures and it's so nice to see all the like personal touches you've added. So thank you so much. And if you guys want to see some of them, do follow me on Twitter because I did retweet a few of those uh, house pictures. And also, if you guys want to build this, Make sure you check out the description because there should be a link for this house in the description below the video. And by the way, Ladies and gentlemen, look into my eyes, nothing but my eyes. I'm sorry, I have a terrible cold today, so I sound terrible. I'm gonna do my best, but please forgive me. Please forgive me. However, in today's video, we're gonna be doing this one house, which a user sent in on, uh, on Twitter to me. And I'm like, hey, that kind of looks nice. Let's give it a go. The main materials for the house are gonna be as followed. White concrete, gray concrete, light green concrete, birch planks and stairs, some stone and stone slabs, some black stained glass and some black stained window penises. Obviously, you can use whatever you prefer. For video's sake, I'm gonna keep it simple when it comes to the amount of materials used. Also, we're gonna be using a default resource pack and the shaders I'm currently using are called Silders Vibrant Shaders version 1.18 high dot zip. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it. And using the light gray concrete, let's count. Three, two, one, and poop it down. Don't judge me, okay? We clap on the first block. This is a child tradition. I'm still clapping. I have no idea why. But light gray concrete. So let's count from this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. No more. Nine is enough, okay? So this is going to be the front of the house, by the way. Just so you know, okay? Then gray concrete on the second block. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And stop. The foundation is the most important thing ever. So do spend some time on this part of the video just to get the proportions right, all right? Because if you could do that, you're safe to go. You're good to go for the rest of the video. Then back to the light gray concrete. Let's do one here, one below, and one above. So you should be having this shape from above at this stage. Then go to the white concrete and let's start over here. Let's do one and two. There's gonna be a doorway. So let's dig down one and two and do one, two, and three. So from above, we are having this shape. Now let's turn the house. So counting with this block over here, let's do one, two, and three. So this wall is one block less than that wall on the opposite side. And turn. Counting with this one, one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have a window. So dig down one, two, and three. And then maybe just fill that with the white concrete. And wall end. Boom. Now counting with this one, we're going to go upwards. So let's do one, two, three, ten, eleven, and twelve. And turn on the twelfth block one and two now counting with this one it's gonna be seven blocks going that way so one two three four five six seven and turn counting with this one it's gonna be seven blocks going that way so one two three four five six and seven now counting with this one it's gonna be seven blocks going that way do you believe aqua foley so one two three four five six and seven so that pretty much meets up with that we can place one block on this side and one block on that side and we have created a room it's something okay don't judge at the end from above you're having this shape i hope if i failed you young padawans i'm so sorry now let's place a block here in the middle that means we have one two and three blocks on this side one two and three blocks on that side so we know this wall is going to be turning just on this point we will have a window however so let's dig down one two and three and fill that with some white concrete and a pillar and then we're gonna have a doorway so one and two that means that this doorway in the back should be symmetrical to the doorway on the front if you've done this correctly and then let's continue this is going to be a straight wall counting with corrals one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen and we turn counting with this one one two three four five six seven and we turn i'm not going to be counting this but this one is going to be going all the way over here and meeting up with this wall like a so. So we can pretty much close that off because this is gonna be like the little garage over here, right? We also would need a staircase leading up to the, to the upstairs, but from above, you're having this shape at this stage. So we have one room and all this space over here, and then we have a garage at this stage over here. Next, let's plan out the staircase. And this is pretty much in the eye of the beholder, because if we place a pillar just here, we have a gap of two blocks on this side, two blocks on this side. So we could either have the staircase on this side 
on this side. I think actually I'm gonna place it over here, like so. So just using bird stairs, place them here, and then counting with this white concrete block. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and then just turn it over here. If you wanna have a basement on a house, this would be the perfect location to have it, okay? But uh, what goes for the garage, let's maybe carve out one hole over here. This is gonna be the garage entrance, and let's do the same over here. So this is going to be an entrance to, I don't know, let's say this is going to be an office or a toilet or whatever, and this is going to be the entrance to the garage. And this from above is pretty much the whole floor plan of, of the first floor. One thing I will do, however, I'm going to jump down and just following this main wall over here on the back. Let's take it out by one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that's enough. So this is pretty much the whole uh, layout of the, of, the, of the whole house. Now, I'm going to be using maybe stone inside of the garage as flooring. And inside the house, let's maybe get birch. I know it might be boring, but once again, whatever you prefer, just use it. Don't blame me. Hey, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? So let me just do this quickly. Inside the house, birch. In the garage, stone. Kawabanga. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some floors. Up next on Anjana is to rise up all the walls so they become six blocks counting from the ground. All besides this garage door, which is the grey concrete, this should only be four. So one, two, three and four. But all the remaining walls, they will be six blocks counting from the ground. So everything we see here, wall related. Let's get up to six blocks counting from the ground. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And yeah, let's do it all over the place. So six blocks, once again, I repeat myself. Six blocks counting from the ground. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have walls. And before we move upstairs, let's just fill in all the gaps we have. So let's maybe start here on the front door. So on the fourth block, counting from the ground, let's get some black stained glass in across like this. Above that, let's just fill that up with some white concrete. Let's move to the window. Two top layers white concrete and the rest let's just squeeze in some black stained window penises like a so so that is four blocks in height and three blocks in width if you've done this correctly and that is pretty much that side done let's move to the garage here we're just gonna have two layers of the light gray concrete moving all the way across like a so and then two layers just in front just to kind of frame this nicely so from the front we should be having very simple shape but it's a shape nevertheless Let's move to this side. You might be crawlers, but there is no holes. Nope, we're gonna make some. So we do have this little extension over here, which might be office slash toilet, whatever you want to have it. Let's just jump down and let's carve out a window. So let's maybe move away like two blocks out of the from this garage wall. And on the fourth block, let's make a hole. And let's loop this hole all the way around the structure. And from the inside, it will be going all the way to the to the staircase wall over here. And let's just get some uh, black stained window pieces all over the place over here. It might not look like much at this stage, but it will look quite snazzy later down the road. Like a soul. And what goes for the back? Pretty much the same shape as we have on the front. So let's start with two layers of white concrete and then as the front door, some black stained glass like this. And for this window, two layers of white concrete and the rest is just gonna be with black stained window pieces all over the place over here. Bam, like this. We also would need a window in this little extension box over here. I'm not sure what it's gonna be, maybe a storage room, you decide. So let's maybe start on the fourth block as we did on the other one. And let's start just in front of this main wall over here. So it's gonna be on the fourth block, boom. And this could be looping all the way around and maybe even stopping over here. So it stops uh, on the main wall and goes all the way here. So it's one, two, three. And counting from this one, one, two, three, four, five, and six. It's not really that important, as long as it looks kind of semi-good, we are kind of Gucci, I guess. And then from the inside, let's keep it really simple, all right? Let's get, let's just mirror the same shape as we have. So on the fourth block is going to be a, a stained glass. Uh, same goes for those ones, so two top layers going to be concrete and then just glass. Obviously we could put in doors and whatnot, but this is just to make it simple for the, for the video's sake. And staircase, so let's get it up. So we have one already, five, let's delete that, and six. I believe there's gonna be seven in total, but counting with the ground one. So one, two, three, four, five, delete this, and six. And we will have another one later on. But this is the, this is the main floor. This is the bottom floor, and we're not gonna do much more to it. This is pretty much finito when it comes to the, to the, to the ground floor of the house. Let's take a look at the pictures. You can see on the upstairs, there's a big like stony part with the window and I'm using the default roosters packs. So I don't think there's anything else besides just stone and stone slabs. Look just here. 
because I'd need to use the stone slabs. And I guess we could maybe use the stone bricks. That would be a possibility. Mossy cobblestone, no can do. Smooth stone, that is kind of not the right texture for this. Let's just use the stone. So I'm going to be using stone and stone slabs. And let's start over here in this corner. So on the top layer, let's take uh, it out like this using the stone slabs. And loop around the whole like front part and take it all the way until we meet that wall. Boom! And then let's just fill the, the gap in over here, like a soul. We will take out the shape, the same shape is going to go out in the back. So let's move to the back. And on the same block uh, line over here, let's go all the way back like this. Top layer over here and take it out by one, two and three and four. So that leaves you two blocks spare to this shape, right? But we have one, two, three and four. And this pretty much just loops all the way to here, goes across and should be meeting up with those stone slabs on that side. So take it out by four, pretty much just connect that and uh, fill in the gap as well, because why not? Ooh, scary Harry Larry sound effects. Something like this, I'm not sure you can see this, but uh, the most important thing is that this corner piece over here meets up with this over here and the same goes for this side. So this corner piece over here meets up with this one over here. Then let's move to the stone uh, stone blocks and let's get a layer which is two in width all the way across here from side to side. We can pr pretty much mirror the same shape on the other side, but let's do the front to begin with, like a so. Then let's start in this far end corner. Let's maybe rise this up like this, a pillar which is two by two. And let's take it up by four blocks like this so we have one two three and four and then on the fourth one we will just turn this and take this all the way across and back to this over here which is also going to be risen by four don't worry we're going to pause this very very shortly just so you guys can see something like this it's a shape okay then let's maybe is there a middle piece over here in the garage maybe over here so let's say i would place one over here and counting with this one one two three four five six and seven let's maybe do six so we have one two three four five and six and that should pretty much be just in the middle of the garage so there's six blocks and let's just fill this up like this so we have one, two, three, four, five, and six on this side. We have two on this side. And in the middle, on the second layer, let's just get some glass blocks. And that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So two, nine, and six, that is 16 blocks across on the stone part if you've done this correctly. But it's gonna be looking something like this. I don't think I'm gonna do more to it. I'm just gonna have it really simple, really like clean. And I'm gonna do the same shape mirrored to this side. So we're gonna be starting over here and doing the two blocks, layers, pretty much just mirror the same shape. It's gonna be six on this side, it's gonna be two on this side, and nine glass in, in, in between. Let's just mirror that shape, all right? Like I saw, same, same, but a little bit different. Up next on the agenda is to get an interior ceiling going over here. And this could be done using birch slabs, for example, but I think I'm just gonna do that using the white concrete. So we're gonna fill out all the gaps on the sixth layer. However, let's not maybe touch the staircase, otherwise you won't be able to get up. So let's do this on the staircase. Let's do two layers like that on this side. Let's do two layers on that side. That's gonna give us a little nice shape. And hopefully we ain't gonna bang our head. Nope, we are safe and sound. But wherever we see the gaps over here, like this for example, on the sixth layer, let's just fill, in that, uh, fill that up with some white concrete or whatever materials you've chosen. I'm gonna go with the white concrete. It is, it is a bright, especially using the shaders mod, but it's gonna work wonders. The most important thing is that this is on the sixth layer. Do not touch the staircase, I repeat. Otherwise, it's gonna be bad, bad, bad mojo. But let's do this quickly on the sixth layer. It's very dark, it's very eerie, but ladies and gentlemen, we do have an interior ceiling. Let's go up on the upstairs, and uh, it's gonna be double floors, obviously. So we will have birch on, on upstairs, but we need to do a little bit of bits and pieces before we do that. Let's grab a full block of stone, and let's get, get this from side to side across like a saw. Boom. And then we will have a window. Just going up the staircase, there's gonna be a window. So let's mark out one block on this side, one block on that side and that leaves us a two block gap in between just so we go up for the staircase over here and we are greeted by a window i know it's not much but it's a nice feature right so that's gonna be it uh, but the rest of the walls over here be besides this gap is gonna be risen to the top elevation over here so counting with the first one is one two three four five and that's gonna be done from side to side and there's not gonna be any more windows on the side so feel free to rise it up to five blocks in total 
across besides the window part. So you should be having something similar to this shape on the upstairs. And I know it looks a little bit terrible with all the like texture connects and whatnot, but don't worry, because we're gonna have one more layer of flooring and that's gonna hide away all the ugliness. So let's grab some bird stairs and let's add one more. That means that is seven stairs counting from the ground and the landing to the window is gonna be one, two, and three blocks in total, like so. Then let's maybe grab some white concrete and let's get a perimeter going all the way around here and maybe two in height. Could use uh, glass panes as well, in case you want that, but let's just use this and be all happy about it. And then we're gonna have like a, like a roof uh, window. This window might be looping all the way around here and across over here uh, above the staircase. It's gonna look quite snazzy. One more thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do this. We're gonna grab some stone and let's put a pillar or two pillars like this all the way to, to the top like that. And then on top of this, this whole thing is going to be covered with stone slabs, but let's just do this to begin with. Let's get a stone slab and let's get this all the way across to this side. So from above, not sure that is even needed, but you have a box which looks something similar to this one. And just to make it a little bit easier to see, let's get some birch and let's get the floor in. So from this corner over here, let's get this all the way across to this side and let's fill up all the space with the birch planks just to make it a little bit easier to distinguish like a saw and I know this is not the easy part of the house and I'm trying to do this as easy as possible but sometimes I fail you young padawans hopefully you get this part correctly right next up is grab some white concrete and let's go over here let's put one block here then one block which is just on this wall and meets up nicely with that over here. Let's do the same on this. This is just a little bit of reference point. So one on this corner and one on that. And then pretty much just connect all those points across. Like a so. Like a so. Do the same on this side. Boom. And now, in this space we have over here, let's get some birch in as well. Believe me, it's gonna make our life much easier later on. So let's get some birch planks and let's just fill up all this space. And bam, something like this. And up next on agenda is to erect some walls, which is, by the way, a terrible <laughs> word choice, but uh, you know me. Let's do this. We know there's going to be a window upstairs, which is pretty much on the same line as the one downstairs. However, this one is going to be looping around the wall a little bit. So let's uh, start with this. Let's get some white concrete and let's do one, two, and three. That is on the same line. And let's get this all the way up. Four in height in total. It kind of meets up with the top stone block, but not the slab. This is just to get it a little bit of extra spice. However, we're going to do the same on this side. So starting here, one, two, and three. That is on the same line as that one. I guess we're going to have like two small rooms and are going to be pretty much mirrored to each other. And then what goes for the window? Let's get some black stained window pieces and let's do one, two, three, and four and turn. So that is one, two, and three maybe. Like this, like that. And let's do the same from this side. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and turn. So there's gonna be a wall coming over here, so we can pretty much just close that off. The window itself is gonna be three blocks in height in total. Could even be a balcony, but you know what, no. Let's fill it in before I change my mind and make this a little balcony, because that would be kinda cool, to be honest. But let's not. Like so, like so. Perfect, let's do the same on this side. So this goes up by four, turns to that, turns into that, and let's just fill in the gap. I hate placing, it's a, such a pain placing those paints like this, like that. Amazing. Also, since this is going to be like two rooms on the upstairs, where's the middle piece? The middle point is over here. So let's get this uh, up like that. So we know there is going to be a middle wall over here. We could even make uh, a little window on this side and a window on that side. So this could be filled up like this. This is going to be filled up like that. And we will have two extra windows just in the middle like that so from from this side you should be having this shape i'm just gonna pause here for a second just in case you want to count some blocks and whatnot but just to make sure there is one two and three one two and three and then we have those windows okay you with me hopefully you are let's just pause here just for a little second pause the video okay i'm not gonna pause but pause the video just in case and then, no and then, let's make this to, into two rooms. Ooh, scary Harry Larry sound effects. Holy crap, they've changed that. And kind of poop, pooping my pants every time I hear that. So let's close uh, this up. So let's make from the little middle line, let's get a wall going like this all the way to about this over here. So it kind of meets up with that white wall here and the white wall over here like this. And then we can have a door entrance, which is just of that window. 
and one over here. It's kind of nice just having a door and then you come in and you have a window. And then you have this huge window and then you can have a bed and whatnot. But this is going to be a room, so pretty much just close that off. So it's going to be four blocks in height in total, counting from the birch floor. And the same goes for this one. So one, two, three, and four. And let's just close this off like so. And above the door, let's just get a full block and a full block. The only thing is that since we're going to have slabs as a ceiling over here, the stone slabs, it's going to be a little bit higher than the whole like bedroom situation. But I don't think it matters. So on the fourth block, let's just get this uh, displaced. And bam, so we come out. And this is pretty much closed off now. So the only thing which is remains is the main roof. I like that shape. It is very simple. It's very stylish. It's very clean. But... It is super uh, functional. Then over here, what goes for this window? We're gonna do this, um, let's see here. We will have the slabs going, right? So the slabs are gonna be going somewhere over here. Let's get the full stained glass blocks and let's place them like this. Let's delete those. So they're gonna be kind of hanging out of the, 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 the wall a little bit. And let's take this all the way up like that and one up. And this is gonna be going all the way to about here maybe just above like the the staircase uh, end it's not going to do much but it's i mean let me just show you you go up from you come up here from the staircase and you have this beautiful window above and in real life, real life scenario that would let some light in right but now let's just uh, hide this away with some of the stone slabs so the whole elevation here is going to be stone slabs all over the place even across those guys so stone slabs all the way where we have the stone and in the gap as well and that's gonna be pretty much the house itself ladies and gentlemen the house is pretty much completed and i like it i like the shapes it is very simple but uh, i love the shapes especially one thing which i really like is like this window here kind of ends where that starts and i know it's not a much of a shape or much of a like wow feature but it just looks nice it's kind of like boom and then boom i don't know <laughs> just boom boom but we also need to get some bushes going also maybe just some door let's just get this out and just bend it like Beckham and let's do the same on the back I guess I'm not sure how long I've been recording and I'm always afraid that this is super boring to watch so I'm like hey you need to skip you need to, you need to, you need to hurry up but um, but let's do this let's get a little garden going I'm gonna get some stone wall and let's get this just from this I know this is kind of like oh but that is outside a lot that doesn't really matter now does it let's get this wall and let's extend it from the front wall let's maybe do one two three four four five six seven eight nine and ten i mean that is kind of even steven right and let's get some slabs on top i'm gonna place some bushes some trees up obviously we need to have a pool in the back but just to get a little front going by the way didn't i add stairs stone, uh, stone stairs at the stage oh game changer perfect get them like this and then let me see here maybe get some stone uh, let me see a smooth stone maybe yeah, why not? Let's get some smooth stone. And uh, this wall is going to be turning over here. We will have a little entrance somewhere over here. So let's maybe do this. We will have a stair like this, stair like that. Might not be much, but it is it is mine, right? This is just to get some inspiration. I know it's not like a fancy, fancy entrance to the house, but... Uh, <laughs> it just, just brace yourselves. And then this wall, I mean, this is going to be a little bit like curved. So it's gonna be like the car is gonna be driving up this way, kinda ish. Uh, believer, right? And then we're gonna have a little passage on this side. So let's get this going, but that's gonna be just one outside of the, the whole wall itself. Doesn't have to be smooth stone. You can use bricks or whatever you you wanna you wanna use. I'm kinda like, I like them. Mainly for let's builds on a video scenario, it's kind of good because they do have the texture and you can easily count them in case you wanna count them. And obviously we would need to have this going all the way here. Not sure why, but uh, just to make it a little bit nicer, like this. And then we will have a little path going over here to the little, little car garages and the rest of the area over here. I believe we're going to use, I know, pe people are going to hate me, but the light grey concrete powder. I love it. Like default resource pack and this texture, just, I mean, just look at it. It sounds a little bit funky walking it because obviously it's powder, right? But it is, it is a, such a nice little texture going over here. And it's going to be going all the way around here. When the moon heats your eye like a big pizza pie, it's amore. Something like this. I mean, it is, uh, it is not terrible. We have a custom palm tree. We do have some bushes. We have a little bit of a curved driveway going in here. Feel free to pause here just in case. One thing maybe we should do is get this going like that. And you're going to look a little bit redonkulous, I guess. Yeah, man, if that only went... Well, you know what? We could. We can fix it. Let's do this. 
Boom, boom, boom. Done it. I'm amazing. So we have a little bit of a... Maybe even more. Because I'm going to... Yeah, maybe. Let me see here. Depends on the cars. I mean, but what if we have like a, like a Humvee? That's not going to fit. That is perfect. Something like this. And from above, just in case you want to count some of the, of the blocks uh, and whatnot. It looks something like this. I kind of like it. Just a little small, derpy garden with some ferns and some uh, achacha leaves all over the place. And it just kind of goes hand in hand. This is not shabby. Oh, obviously, we would maybe need more trees on this side or even a bush over here somewhere in the corner. We could have like trash bins or whatnot. But uh, that is going to be the front, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think we need to do more to it. I like this. I like this quite a bit. I love this feature, like this little wall holding up that part. Huh. Anyhow, the so back garden. We will have a pool. So let's see. Where is this wall coming? It's coming about here. So how many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 on the front. So let's do the same on the back. And it's going to be like, ladies and gentlemen, it's not going to be anything spectacular. But this is just kind of like, hey, oh, that is kind of a nice feature. You can, you, I can do that as well. So let's do something like this. Let's connect this up over here. We will have a slab on top. We're going to have a little bit of a wall just going out here. You might be bad, but why? A little bit for privacy. So it's sort of like going to be like a little bit hidden away because obviously coming over here. Oh, yeah, privacy is amazing. And then we're going to have a huge pool over here. And the thing about the pool, let's get uh, some smooth stone going and let's count from this. Let's do one, two, three, and four. And the pool could be going somewhere over here. How I many do we have? One, two, three, and four. Okay, that's going to be perfect. We're going to have a little patch show, or whatever you're going to call it. And then the pool is going to be going all the way over here. It's going to be like a huge pool. And the thing about the pool, all we could do is maybe even have it like on the wall. Don't judge me. It is a palm tree in the pool. But... Uh, I like it. But I was saying, yeah, the pool could be going on the wall like this. And I mean, that is not bad because then we can use this as like swimming laps back and forth, back and forth. And yes, we do have a palm tree. But it is what it is, I guess. One thing which I adore uh, is this window. I like it. I kind of love it. And for those who are going to be upset because I skipped some stuff, don't worry. This is pretty much as we laid out. Smooth stone, four, four, and the pool. If you want to pause, please feel free to pause. But it is quite simple. Maybe a little bit boring, but I don't know. I like it any house. And for some, this house might be just, I don't know, too simple uh, or just too clean. But there's a lot of clean shapes and not bad. And I did a copy paste it in different sun settings so we can see it from different angles. And I was saying, so, saying about this shape, like I just love how this window over here ends over here and then this starts over here, but on a different like uh, floor. I know, it's such a, such a nerd. Uh, just a cool feature. One more thing which we could maybe do is, let me see here, we could maybe delete that over here, right? And have uh, another, oh no, we can't, because that goes in, dang it. It would be kind of cool just having uh, this window just poking through a little bit. We could maybe even extend it a little bit like this and have it poking through like that, which would not be terrible on the back. But, uh, well, it is in the eye of the beholder. It is a possibility if you want to add that. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I like it a lot. If you guys build it, please do share some pictures on my Twitter. There's a link to my Twitter on the, or in the description below the video. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more Let's Build videos like this. And I'm so sorry about my sore throat. But uh, I do hope you get some inspiration. And yeah, once again, it might not resemble the house from the picture. Maybe a little bit from the front. The back, I have no idea how it looks. So I just kind of like freestyle a little bit. But... Uh, I love it. <laughs> do I love it? I like it. Let's just take a little quick tour on the inside. So we don't have much uh, set up. We do have this, which is kind of like a big kitchen uh, living room area, I guess. We have this. Is a, I, I would have a toilet over here, maybe, or whatnot. Then we have a little garage over here. We do have this room, which I don't know what this would be, an office. And scary, hairy, hilarious sound effects. And I would have like a basement, uh, basement entrance over here. Because why not? And if we just climb on upstairs, I door that window. That is amazing. And then we have this huge space, which would be kind of like a living room, family room, open space, living. However, like this could be totally divided into more rooms over here. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful big area over here. That's not too shabby. And then we have bedroom and bedroom. And that is about it. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I sure do hope you enjoy this and uh, do hit the like button. It means the world to me and I'm so sorry about my voice. Maybe it doesn't sound different, but man, my throat is killing me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a very nice day. I am Corrales and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.